My fucking god. Now you realize what that ominous entity was. It was Minecraft Steve. He's turned your world into his and now he wants to kill you. So, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I kind of disappeared without really saying much on the YouTube front. But to give some context, I made a series of tweets about a month ago. So now I'll be taking a break from the internet to focus on some more personal stuff. And, you know what? I was going to plan my return on, like, Saturday later on in October, and just, like, mysteriously tweet out, hey, to confuse a bunch of people. But god damn Steve coming to Smash Bros brought me back from the dead. It's a miracle, I tell you. <laughs> but, but anyways, yeah, I'm back. The break was hella refreshing, though. Definitely helped with clearing my mind a bit. Alongside helping with trying to balance out some personal life aspects with my time online, also helped it with being more relaxed, I'd say. Although I might not come off as that, but trust me, trust me, I'm more relaxed this time around. <laughs> Guess while I'm on the mic, though, I should probably go over my plans that I have on my content. So, yeah, let's go over that. <laughs> right, first things first. Current style of content? Yeah, and I'll be coming to an end on this channel. So, it'll only last until the end of 2020 to then make way for the new style of content I have planned. It's not like I don't like making that style of content, but personally, I don't think it should be my style as a main push of content on this channel. On top of that, as you might have seen on my Twitter, I've been trying to get the message out of looking for editing work. And even though making stream highlights can help with that push and recognition, I don't feel the freedom of creativity behind it, especially with things I want to say, considering I say things in a moment on streams and really have to work with that. Having the ability to choose words I want, like in a script, really allows me to be more creative with editing and presentation of videos. If you guys still like that style of content though, be sure to let me know. Your opinions might make me go ahead and make a separate highlights channel. God, it's not like I already have too many channels to begin with. Oh yeah, this doesn't mean I won't be streaming. Streams will still be happening with this current content style all the way through to the new style. Although the only changes I probably have to make would be when they occur due to some personal matters. But I believe it should be fine. Oh, and before I forget, I should mention that I do have a separate channel full of VODs. Haven't been uploading to it as often because the plan I originally had was to make the VOD public once the edited video was done. But I'll be changed to having the VOD public when I get around to it, so about a few days after the stream itself. Meaning you can still watch this content without waiting for the highlight, although that is going through hours of very boring footage. But nonetheless, you'll be there. Top 10 facts. Number 1. There's this one frog that can hold up its pee for like 8 months. Number 2. I can't skateboard. So, what's this new style of content, creator? Okay, so, I'm not going to touch on this too much, as I still want there to be some surprise element to it. But what I will say is that, as I mentioned, this new style of content will be scripted and be more personal, as what I've currently got planned, with possibly some alterations and additions to the style, but will still have to focus on being scripted and planned out. I do plan on trying to, like, sprinkle in some of this style in other future videos in 2020, so the change can be adapted for both me and you guys, so it isn't just all, all of a sudden- <laughs> New content too! Electric Boogaloo! Yeah, that's all I'm going to say regarding that. So, continuing on in 2020, I'll still be pushing out stream highlights, but with that, I'm trying to have a focus on what exactly to put out. So, what I have planned is finish off my Celeste playthrough highlights, because I need to goddamn finish that game, maybe another one or two Minecraft highlights, at least an Among Us video, with maybe another one if I'm lucky enough. Another highlight of a game which I still have to decide on, and I'll stream that. And other videos which I'll make which have zero correlation to highlight videos. And then to end off, I'll probably make some best of 2020 video where I just include highlights with my friends funnier than me. 
Oh dear. With the Celez videos, I've currently got one ready to upload, and another one when it's still in its editing stages. So to not waste time, I'll do my best to get the editing for it done, alongside getting every VOD so far up on the VOD channel. I fell down! Yeah, that's the end of it all. And let me just say, this was quite a hard decision to make personally, but in the end, I feel the changes will help my creative drive and help out the channel more. So I hope you guys are interested for the future of my content. But with all that said and done, and for nobody to listen to my rambles, I have no idea how to end this video. <laughs> Check out my different media stuff that I have linked below, like my Twitch and my Twitter, alongside my newly operating Tumblr and SoundCloud accounts which I plan on posting to. Be sure to subscribe to help out my clout levels, if you liked it, you liked the video, if you disliked, dislike the video. Let's get to 100 subs because that's a fucking amazing goal. And be sure to stand print temps. Anyways, I'm about to go finish some anime. Bye. Yeah, I'm just